Guys, so here's the deal. I posted this dryer on Instagram recently. A lot of you guys were asking what it was. I was apprehensive to share until I tested it out and knew if it was worth talking about because it is really expensive. Now, unfortunately, it's amazing. It really does a great job. It's so easy to use and I'm gonna share it with you and here's what I think. We're at a time right now where nobody's really working and nobody's gonna go ahead and spend this kind of money on a blow dryer. But I'm doing this video because when things pick back up down the road, I think that this is worth the investment because if you are someone who doesn't know how to dry your hair very well or you spend money on blowouts or you spend money on all kinds of products, this is kind of like a one-time investment that you won't really need to go get your hair done professionally because it really gives you that professional quality blowout without having to spend that money. Everly's in here and she's gonna yell and that's just the way it is right now. Let's get into it. It's the Dyson dryer. The two ways you could buy it, you could buy like different sets or you could buy the complete set. I bought the complete set. The attachments come off. This works as a dryer on its own. Um, there's an attachment to rough dry your hair. There are wand, curling wands, different sizes. There's a round brush that you could use. So there's the, this attachment for the round brush. My hair is falling out. There are different size barrels for curls, and it's really great. So today I'm just gonna show you how to really simply do a straight hair blowout. I'm gonna start with this attachment. Now there's two of these. There's another one. I'm not really sure the difference between them. So it just like comes off like that. I'm gonna stick this attachment on. I am going to put a clip in. She wants to be in the video too. And the other day I was just sitting on her nursery floor as she was rolling around and I just dried my hair. I'm putting it to the middle setting for heat and the middle setting for strength. Also a cool feature at the end, like a cold feature that you can set your hair with. Don't use the hottest setting. I feel like it's gonna burn your hair off, especially if you're blonde. There's three settings for strength, and there's three settings for heat, and then there's the cool shot, which would be up there. So I would do middle, middle for both, okay? Okay, so for the top, just to give it a little more body, I like to switch to the round brush attachment. Okay, so this is the final look for a sleek, straight blowout. I'll show you another video on how I use the curlers to make it wait, give you my beachy waves that I do all the time. But this literally took me less than 10 minutes. So, I don't know guys, what do you think? Worth the investment? Are you someone who spends money on blowouts and products and all that? Or do you not care? Do you air dry? Like, what's your hair routine? Do you have straight hair, curly hair, hard to manage? I would say this is really good for people with hard to manage hair. If you have fine, thin hair, maybe not, you don't need it, but if you have thicker hair, curly hair, this would definitely be worth the investment, unfortunately. Okay, that's it.